Hey everyone. In this video, we'll learn how to create organizational charts and easily using Google Sheets. Manually building and updating organizational charts can be a pain. You constantly rearrange boxes to reflect changes. But Google Sheets makes it a breeze. Let's dive in. First, create a table with two columns, employee and manager. List all employees, or positions, in the employee column. Then you need to add the manager of each employee in the second column. In the manager column, instead of typing names, reference the cell containing their manager's name. This will simplify future updates. Once your table is complete, select both columns. Then, go to Insert and click Chart. This will add a basic chart and open the chart editor on the right. In the chart editor, under chart type, scroll down and click organizational chart. Now you can see your data magically transforms into a clear organizational chart. If the column headers, employee and manager, appear in the chart, check the box that says use row 1 as headers to remove them. Once you do that, the chart will be rearranged correctly and the ID and parent fields will become the column headers instead of ranges. Adjust the chart size to ensure all boxes are visible. You can customize the color and box size of the organizational chart. To do this, go to the Customize tab in the Chart Editor sidebar. Expand the Org section. Select the box size from the Size dropdown. Use the Node Color option to change the color of the boxes. You can also change the color of the boxes when they are selected using the Selected Node Color option. You can easily make changes to the organizational chart by updating the data table. For example, add a new row to include a new employee in the chart. Assign the employee to a manager to position them correctly in the organizational chart. If the new employee is not showing in the chart, check that the data range is correct in the Chart Editor sidebar. You can remove an employee by deleting the relevant row, but don't forget to reassign any subordinate staff to an existing manager to rearrange the chart. In the chart editor, you will see an option named Tooltips. This option allows you to show employee names as tooltips when you hover over the chart. To enable this, add an employee name column to the table. Then adjust the chart data range in the chart editor sidebar to include the new column. Once you do that, a new option called Name will appear under the Tooltips dropdown. Select it. Then hover the mouse pointer over the boxes in the organizational chart, and you will see the relevant employee's name appearing as Tooltips. To download the chart, click on the three-dot menu in the top right corner of the chart. Then hover over the Download Chart option. You will have three options, PNG, PDF, or SVG. Choose based on your requirement. If you want to further modify the chart, download it in SVG format. You can use a free, open-source vector graphics editing program like Inkscape to modify the chart. You can publish this organizational chart to the web so that anyone with the link can access it. This makes it easy to present the chart to your audience. To publish the chart, click on the three-dot menu icon at the top right corner of the chart and select the Publish Chart option. This will open the Publish to the Web dialog box, where you can either get a link to the published chart or an embed code to include it on your website. You can choose whether to publish it as an interactive chart or an image. Under Publish Content and Settings, you can select whether to republish the chart automatically when changes are made. Once you've set your preferences, click Publish. Click OK for the warning message. You will then receive the link to the published chart and the embed code. You also have options to share the link via email, Facebook, or Twitter. Copy and paste the link into your browser to check the published chart. Since we selected the Interactive Chart option, you'll see the tooltips and box colors change when clicked. Share this link with your team so they can view it as well. Thank you for watching.